Good evening to each and every one of you out there in Radio Land this evening. Good evening to you and welcome, welcome, welcome to a very, 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 very special Thursday evening. I got special guests with me tonight. And we're going to be talking about forgiveness. I'm 
And a long time ago, I learned that, listen, before I can forgive somebody, I got to forgive myself, okay? So I'm playing this song for those of you out there tonight who are listening. You got to forgive yourself, all right? And we're going to have a conversation, a dialogue tonight with my good friend. Good friend. James, but you don't Dr. Rosemary Downer. Carry this weight. Long enough. I forgive me. You've always felt like you weren't good enough. But that's all. I me. You've made mistakes, but those mistakes don't get to make you. I forgive me. God knew what you do, and he still chose you. Yeah, I know it was wrong. Carry this way. most difficult part of this process to have a memory of your past but not allow those memories to produce the same pain in your future but today it's time for you to get your life back instead of staying down feeling sorry for yourself i want you to pick yourself back up and let it go i'm letting it go From me. You will steal my future anymore. The memory of every mistake. It's time to receive God's I'm grace. Go. You can't change his mind about you anyway. You will steal my future anymore. You could have been a better mother. I'm letting it go. And maybe you should. That's right, you gotta let it go, y'all. So pick up <laughs> and call it. You gotta let it go, man. And I know it's easier said than done, so we're going to let the doctor tell us about it, all right? We're going to let her open up our minds and our eyes so we can learn a thing, a thing or two tonight on this word forgiveness, all right? James Fortune and Fire, a song called I Forgive You. Bless your name, God. I forgive you. Thank you, Lord. I forgive me. You got to forgive yourself. I forgive me. Make sure you forgive yourselves tonight. God has already forgiven you. Because God has already forgiven you. What such a powerful song. yourself. I wanted to make sure I share this with you tonight. Don't let who you were interfere with who God's allowing you to become. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. We're going to be talking to my good friend. Her name is Dr. Rosemary Downer. She is a dedicated follower of Christ who aspires to having a close, the, the closest relationship with Christ possible. Okay. From I know this woman, she's been serving God. I'm, she been around, okay? She been around. It's a long time she been here, okay? Um, her service in the body of Christ primarily involves teaching and preaching, and she does both of those things well, okay? Listen to me. I know her a long, 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 long time. Uh, she also spent uh, well over 30 years serving the young people, youth. She loved young people. Ah, I mean, love young people. She often ministers on issues that addresses emotional healing and well-being she counts every opportunity to minister an ultimate privilege from god the father and does not take it lightly at all she is a published author of the self-scarred church and several parenting handbooks additionally she is the author of a comprehensive ministry development course find and occupy your place and the Continuum of Care Youth Ministry Development Handbook. Dr. Donald writes inspirational nonfiction non books that are based on the Word of God family. Her main reason for writing is to make a permanent record of what our Heavenly Father has to say to his people through her pen of a ready writer. Her deepest desire 
is that the readers live the readers lives I'm sorry the le the readers lives will be transformed as by faith they apply the words from the pages of her book I know I jacked that up but pray for me all right pray for me I've not spoken to this woman of God in so long, so long. I can't wait to get there I wasn't even planning to read no bio of her I was just going to tell you what I know of her, okay? First of all, she drove one of the cars that I reached back then. I don't know what she's driving now, but back then she drove my dream car. And she drove me in that car, and I didn't want to get out when I got to her house. I was like, I'll, I, you know, I, I really love this car. She, she drove a Saab Turbo. I wonder if she still have that car. You still have that car, my friend? <laughs> I don't. They stop making saw. <laughs> Regrettably, if they ever come back to the United States, I'll be the first one to buy one. Listen to me. I remember that car so well. I was man. wondering what I car you were play. talking about. Yes, that saw was, 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 I mean, I remember you picked me up at the airport and, um, for, for, it was for, um, for, for the, um, Bridges event. Yes. The very first one. When we were launching, man, I went to choir and rehearsals and stuff. And man, oh man, oh man, I enjoyed that ride so yeah. much. I didn't want to get onto your car at all. That's at my all, favorite all. car, so yes. I, when I heard that you weren't gonna take me to the to the to the, the function, I'm like, oh come on, man. No. <laughs> I got a ride in a camry. I'm not gonna tell you whose camry it was. <laughs> I ride in a camera and I'm like, Saab Camry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed myself and I enjoyed my time. How are you? It's been so long. I am good. I couldn't I couldn't wait to see you. Oh, it's so goodness. beautiful to lay eyes on you again. <laughs> I'm doing good. Father's good. I'm doing good. Yes. Are you doing Tears on my life. But you yes, don't I'm look a good. day older, though. Is that right? Thank you so Come much. Come on, Rosie. Come <laughs> on, man. You don't look a day older at all. Yeah. I, I remember I remember you so so much and um all those trips to, to Baltimore and yes, to Washington yes, and to yes, uh, yes. Wow. And you and wow. the music still going. Yes, 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 yes. All I, of our niche. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm yes, still in music, man. Well. I, I love music. I've done the music director stuff for so many years. Mm -hmm. I decided to go in radio and yes. here we are. Yes, Here we yes, are. Beautiful. I'm interviewing Rosemary Downer, y'all. Oh, my. You, where's my from? from? <laughs> and, and, you know, all those people from, from back in the day. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming, first of all. Absolutely. And this is a topic that we have discussed many, many times. Mm -hmm. Many times on this station. <laughs> um, we had a thing called um, Church Matters. Mm. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we used to discuss forgiveness and we always got questions, serious questions about forgiveness and mm -hmm. people still have hang ups. Mm -hmm. Um, we will discuss it now and three months later, we're mm -hmm. discussing it again and that mm -hmm. person still have that hang up. Same place. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <Your> place. <laughs> yes. So I, know, why. <laughs> I know when I saw, when I saw your email, I said, no man, I got, I got to, I got to indulge in this. I, I have to get this, this being discussed again with you. Um, and think we got to talk about it. Um, one of the things that, that reached me this week, this very week here mm -hmm. was the insurrection happens and um, one of the police officers, I was watching CNN and one of the police officers um, who was attacked, mm -hmm. um, he said to Don Lemon, he said to Don Lemon, listen, I forgive them. Mm -hmm. I forgive them. He saw a clip of the uh, one of them, the gentleman who tased him, mm. and the gentleman was crying on the clip. He was crying, and um, the gentleman, you know, was remorseful. I, I, I can honestly say that he was very, very remorseful, and he thought he was an idiot for for even being there and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. Mm -hmm. But I was listening to uh, Mr. Fanoon, and he said, "I forgive him," and when he said that. I mean, I looked at my wife and I said, wow, good for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good for him. Because mm -hmm. for him to be able to say, I for he almost lost his life. As a matter of fact, he had to tell them, listen, I have children. And that's when they stopped. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when someone cried out for him and said, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. He has children. Don't, mm -hmm. don't hurt him. Mm -hmm. And I, when I heard that, I said, oh, my goodness, I cannot wait to to talk with, with rosemary about this whole forgiveness mm -hmm. thing because mm -hmm. when a man like that can l go on national exactly exactly say, i yeah forgive him yeah 
that almost brought me to tears mm -hmm. right there and then. I it almost brought. He was the very first person that they interviewed after the insurrection came out mm -hmm. from from a police standpoint. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so to hear that, I, I wanted us to to really have this dialogue going. Yes. I think. Tell us about yourself, uh, Rosemary. <laughs> I know a little bit some 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 you know from our church. <laughs> but tell the people who you are and how how did you get into this writing thing? Okay. Well, first of all, I love writing. Um, about myself, I've been walking with the Lord for several years, and I love the Lord. He's the wow. head of my life, the That's master right. of my life. I'm crazy about God. Um, I worked with the federal government for 20 years as a social science researcher mm -hmm. and uh, served as a professor for 24 years um, at a local university. So I've been writing throughout my studies, throughout my career. As a researcher, you're writing all the time. Different style of writing then than I do now, but mm -hmm. I've always liked writing. Um, retired now and doing a little bit of consulting on the side and mostly writing. I consider that my new life, my new career, right. and enjoying it thoroughly. I always wanted to write nonfiction Christian books because I believe the Lord make downloads in me that I want to put in permanent record. Wow. Um, how did I start writing? I actually published my first Christian nonfiction in 20, 2009. Mm -hmm. And Bramble, it really came out of my work with Bridges. Um, mm -hmm. Experiencing the experiences I was having working with the church leaders and looking at the challenges and barriers I was experiencing in mm -hmm. launching and progressing, growing Bridges. Right. And I right. felt like a lot of the challenges we got came from the churches. Mm. Um, so okay. I wrote The self Scar Church and published that. And then before I published that book, I had started The High Call of Forgiveness, but the Lord stopped me because mm. I wasn't ready to publish it yet. Right, right, right. Hurt right. people cannot heal people. Hurt wow. People, oh, hurt say that people, again. Say that again. Say hurt that again. people cannot heal people. Yeah, yeah. Hurt people do nothing but hurt people. Wow. Um, when I started writing The the high call of forgiveness, I was still hurting. So I mm. was writing from a place of hurt that would mm. not minister healing to someone else. The Lord literally stopped me. And years later, I picked it back up and first published it in 2015 and then republished it in 2021. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. That, 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 that's a lot right there. Hurt people cannot fix hurt people. No, no. Can't, can't. Why a book uh, um, on forgiveness? Why a book on forgiveness? First, um, it is birth out of a personal experience of mine. Um, and then, strangely enough, as I was coming out of that experience, I mm -hmm. got a invitation to a women's conference to speak on forgiveness. Now, that would be the absolute very first time I ever minister on forgiveness. And when I did that session, I believe it was in New York, when I did that session and I saw the level of response, I realized how broadly unforgiveness is affecting the church. Mm -hmm. This book can minister to the unsaved, but it's heavily Bible based. It's coming heavily out of scripture and speak directly to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And the more I did conferences, uh, uh, interestingly enough, and it's not interestingly enough, but the Lord put me through what he put me through to equip me to minister on, on forgiveness. Right. <clears throat> the more conferences I did, the more yeah. seminars I did, the more sermons I did, no matter where I went, whether it were first or second day or fifth day or seventh day mm -hmm. assembly, <laughs> right. the, the response was outrageous. The lines were long for people to yeah. talk to me after I ministered. Yeah. yeah and yeah. the stores were different. I realized that there's a great need for this mm -hmm. in the body of Christ and a practical, down and dirty, mm -hmm. why we hurt, why mm -hmm. we can't forgive, what the consequences are, et cetera, et cetera. And mm -hmm. that's why I delved deeper into it and even doing another version of it, an updated and expanded version with the study series because the need is so great from what I see. Yes. Wow. The book is called The High Call of Forgiveness. It's a mandate. 
it's a mandate. When I, when, I, when I hear the word mandate, I'm like, oh, geez. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, we're talking to, to, to Rosemary, Dr. Rosemary Downer. Um, she's an author and um, write very, 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 very well. I, I remember back in the day, I mean, back in the day, she would be always jotting down notes and, you know, I'm like, oh, one person can have so much note from one little sermon, you know? <laughs> one little sermon but she was always writing for real 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 and um you see the books behind her when you go to her home that's what you see you see a bunch of books all over the place she have books 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 so i know she 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 was destined for this for this moment right here you know in the book um rosemary you you, you said that um you took six months off during that time uh, period what did you do to heal? Because, oh. I, I mean, church hurt is, is, is serious hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do to heal? Good question. So um, when, when the incident happened, I realized that, no, let me back up. The ultimate thing to me in life is my relationship with the Lord. Right. right. Nothing, absolutely right. nothing is more important to me. Mm. And I've always told myself, anything or anyone that comes in my life that's mm -hmm. going to deter me or right. negatively impact my relationship with the Lord has to go. Wow. So wow. I realized when that thing happened that mm -hmm. where I was was getting in the way of my relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hurt is okay, but it's not okay. Right. <laughs> when right. something is done to us, it's mm -hmm. okay to hurt, but mm -hmm. it's not okay. And we can oh. we can we can break that down. Mm. It's natural to hurt, but we can't stay there. That's correct. Um, so I'm a goal setter. Every day of my life, I have a to-do list. At the beginning of every year, January, not April, I go by the our calendar. Right. I set a goal <laughs> with a date. Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm setting out to achieve, and I want to complete it by then. Even in that state of pain with where I was, I set a goal. Six months later, I'm going to be done with this. It's going to be behind mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. So that's where that six months came in. It could have been a month. It could have been two months. I gave ah. myself six months to work through it. Right, How right. did I get my healing? Mm -hmm. I was like a child that mm -hmm. was hurt, bruised, beaten down. And I ran to my father for protection. You mm -hmm. got bullied at school. You got beat up at mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. you come home, you run to daddy and you tell him what happened. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. I ran to my father and I mm -hmm. complained to him. I poured mm -hmm. out to him and make it available for him to pour back into me. Into me, yeah. And he yeah. gave me instructions what to do, how to pray mm -hmm. to come to a place of healing. So having, having a relationship with God, Absolutely. having a relationship with God is important because Absolutely. I'm hearing a dialogue going on. You're telling us that he, he spoke to you and he's telling you instructions. He's, he's telling you what to do, when to do what, yep. um, you know, so you, you definitely have to have a relationship yep. with him yep. for you yep. to get the direction uh, and directives. Absolutely. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. We, like I said before, we are speaking to my good friend, Rosemary Downer. I'm going to break a little bit break a little bit and there's a song called forgiveness that i want to share with you eddie neblin with this song check this out y'all no release the hearts of yesterday i know it hurts to the core causing emotional decay can't take anymore choosing forgiveness sometimes is not easy but you gotta do it for yourself oh yeah yeah my mama always told me, son, don't you keep hatred in your heart. It's unhealthy and it will tear you apart. The memories you may not erase, but you can learn how to forgive. Don't volunteer to carry it away. It's not the way to live. So along the way, you've got to learn to let it go. Release your heart along the way. Time me a warn them Forgiveness are the best way to start Hear me now And a long time me tell them Can't make it without loving in your heart Watch me now Me 
You're not gonna be no malice in me heart, no. Who no hear what me say? Yo again, a little love, a little smile upon me face. So me keep the hatred away. Well, fruit of the spirit, me a walking. In the will of God, me stick to me calling. Hey, so when them pray for me fall, me still a go smile in them face and I say good morning. Alone away. You've got to learn to let it go. Release your heart. Alone away. Deserving or not, you got to do your part. See whatever. That's right, that's right, that's right. But find it hard. Ah, hallelujah. Turn. All right, we are having a special here. Uh, my good friend Rosemary Downa is here with me tonight. And um, indeed, she has the book that's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or on our website at www.booksbyrosemary.com. All right, and you want to get this book, man. You want to get this book, Lady B. She's in it, she's in it, she's in it, she's, I mean, <laughs> she's in it. Um, what, are, what are the main points that the book covers, um, um, Rosemary? All right, so I start with um, alerting the readers that we must know our enemy. Mm-hmm. Um, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11 said, we should not be ignorant of the devil's devices Mm-hmm. lest he get the better get an advantage of us right um so we have to know his mode of operation we have to know how he functions it's interesting mm-hmm. that we have an adversary out there who seeks to kill steal and destroy from us he mm-hmm. studies us he, he patiently waits to know our weak points and know how to attack us but we don't study him hmm. it's like getting in a boxing ring with another right. boxer but you didn't take time to study the person's moves you're going right. to get beat down. Of course. So, one, we have to know the strategies of the enemy. A lot of offenses that take place, especially mm-hmm. in the church, it's due to us not being alert to the strategies mm-hmm. of the enemy. So, first, we have to know our enemy. Second, mm-hmm. I talk about the context in which offense takes place and mm-hmm. understanding that it's a strategy of the enemy, especially in church. If we are hurt in church, it's bigger than just you. Right. So we need to take a different perspective to the harm that was done to us. Context, human beings, we are all human beings that are flawed. We have character Ooh. flaws and we have Come emotional on needs. Come on now. We have wow. emotional wounds. None of us is perfect. So all of us are going to hurt someone else. When we talk about forgiveness, we often stop at what was done to us. But we also hurt people. Mm. There are also emotional wounds, unmet emotional needs that result in emotional wounds that cause us to hurt others and cause us to hurt more easily and Mm -hmm. find it more difficult to forgive. I spend a lot of time talking about emotional wounds because that's a big reason why so many of us find it hard to forgive. And so many of us get hurt so deeply because of emotional wounds. Then Mm. I go into um, the consequences of unforgiveness which is not necessarily delayed. They are <laughs> current now. Yeah, A lot yeah. of people are suffering yeah. from unforgiveness as we speak in this life. Right, right. It's right. not just the final consequence. The consequences of unforgiveness, the delusional things we tell ourselves, the mm-hmm. rationalizations we tell ourselves to make us believe mm-hmm. that we mm-hmm. are forgiven when we actually have not forgiven. Wow. I spend a lot of time on the benefits, the richness of forgiveness Mm. and the grace that is available to us to forgive. Mm -hmm. I talk about what comes, what's beyond the forgiveness called reconciliation. We are all called to the ministry of reconciliation. I spend time talking about that. I also go beyond unforgiveness, which is bitterness. There's Mm. a stage that's worse than unforgiveness and it's bitterness. Wow. And then I sort of end up with the steps we can take mm-hmm. for emotional healing and wholeness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Powerful, powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. A person who, um, uh, what does a buyer of the book, uh, or a matter of fact, it's not just a book. I might, um, 
you also have a, a, a study series mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, that I need people to know of. So when you get in the book, look for the study series also, all right? And um, you, you want to get the study series also. Um, what does the buyer of, of the book or the study series look like? You know, what does that person look like? Who, who can benefit from the book mm -hmm. or the study series? So I see a pastor who is working with congregants. Mm. that may be struggling with the issue of forgiveness or need to teach mm -hmm. on forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I see um, a woman who has been molested, abused, neglected. I see a child who's angry at her parents. I see what? a person who invested money and lost it. I yeah. see a mother whose son has been murdered. Yeah, I see, I mean, I can yeah, go through from A to Z. N exactly. <laughs> you got it right. Anybody. Oh my goodness! Everybody can in church, from outside of church, in yeah, family, yeah. outside of family, at work, not at work. Anybody, anything yeah. that offend us wow. and make us get stuck at that place of offense. Wow! Anybody. Wow. The study series is appropriate for individual studies, but it's richer mm -hmm. if it's done with others mm -hmm. because then you can share, then you can process the ideas. I put in vignettes and scenarios and examples of. of things that could offend people talk about it why mm -hmm. is this person at a state of unforgiveness what can they do to get out of it apply the scripture i go deeper in the scriptures that are referenced in the book and the concepts that are introduced in the book so yes and listen to answer that question it's literally anybody wow 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 listen a, a little idea is coming to my mind um uh, to my to my listeners uh my regular listeners i, I have a zoom um that we can host 100 people on the zoom all right so i might just have us get the book and we read the book together and have discussions about the, each chapter how about that i'm throwing that out there all right think about it and y'all can give me an answer later on i put a poll out and you you give me an answer on the poll let's 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 read this book I, I, I'm loving what I'm hearing already. Um, we go chapter by chapter, so you know we, we just keep going, keep and going. I'd be happy to, to join in and, and hear what people are like saying. And I like it. So I want people to get the book. So first of all, I need I'm I'm, I'm going to call y'all out: Hillary, Kamalita, I mean all of y'all, fake guy. I need all of you to get the book so we can have a, a little our own little book club, okay, <laughs> where we can open up the Zoom and we just sit in there and read chapter by chapter and we will have a discussion. So. Yeah, let's let's do that. All right, forgive and forget hmm. has become such a cliche, but it is true, right? Is it true, biblic and uh, and is it biblically sound? So, the forgive and forget that we are accustomed to hearing, yeah, is not real. It's not a hundred percent mm. true. Um, mm -hmm. when Bramwell, you, Brammy, Bramwell, you've done yeah. me wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 I forgive you, uh -huh. but I don't forget that that thing happened. Mm -hmm. What I forget, mm -hmm. if I forgive you, truly forgive you, right. I forget the details of the thing. Ah. Of, exactly. Of the thing. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And when I do recall that you did me wrong, mm -hmm. the emotions that accompany my recollection is not negative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not angry. I'm not malicious. I'm not, I can't believe he did that to me. And I, I, right. I can't believe he got away with that. I, I'm not there. I'm at a place of thanksgiving. Right, right, right. I'll give you an example. When I wrote the first version of this book, I usually, when I'm writing, I take a week away by myself to just write. And it's, mm. it's super, super helpful because you get a lot done and the distractions are not there. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was using Dragon voice to text. Now you can just do it right in Word. It's an right. excellent piece of Word. <laughs> right. And I was typing, right, speaking into Dragon, to into the book to type in my computer. And I was recalling what I went through because I was touching on a piece. I don't retell my story because it's not important, but you touch on it here and there. Mm -hmm. And the tears started running and I started speaking tongues. Mm. I wasn't crying because I was hurt. Right. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. I was crying because I was grateful to God for where he has brought me. So mm -hmm. you don't forget that it happened. Yeah. But how you recall it matters. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the forget. 
Yeah. And when he, yeah. when Father heals you, forgiving is a healing agent. Forgiveness wow. is a healing agent. So when we yes. forgive, we get healed. When he heals you, he, he erases the painful and the bad memories. Yes. Right, 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 right. right. Wow. Wow, I'm 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 just in awe I, I, <laughs> at, the, at your responses. It's 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 just wow, wow. It's things that you know, you know that that's that's what I love about it. It's things that you know, but you 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 didn't see yourself doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now you're reminded. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You really have to, you yeah. know, yeah. this whole this whole forgive and forget thing. Oh, forgive and forget it. Forget it, man. Forget it. Let it go. And I was saying it earlier with the song. I was saying earlier with the song, not that you're not supposed to let it go. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, what Dr. Mm -hmm. Donald is saying. You have to let it go to free yourself from it. Right. You know what I mean? To free yourself from Father, it. Father, doesn't give you amnesia. You don't get amnesia. Right. That's correct. Right. <laughs> that's correct. Mm -hmm. I remember that you heard me. What? What are you talking about? I remember that. <laughs> All right. How, how do we handle, um, like, re repeat offenses? All mm -hmm. right. Or, or how do you forgive someone who never changed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They never change. Okay. So first of all, I, I go to the scripture. I know Jesus said to forgive 70 times seven in a day. Um, and that was, he was being, if you'd allow me to use this term facetious, because no one offends a person 490 mm -hmm. times in one day, unless you're retarded. Right. And if you're retarded, just take it for granted. <laughs> So there's no limit to forgiving. That's correct. All right. That's that's, that's a message you wanted to, to send, wasn't that? There you, that's there's the message no you wanted to send. Exactly. Yeah, 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 and yeah. it also, scripture tells us that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. You take care of that temple. Right. So right. if I know, Bramwell, that you are abusive, you're verbally mm -hmm. abusive and mm -hmm. potentially physically abusive and you will not change, mm -hmm. I will not put myself in your way for you to continuously do that to me. Mm, mm, However, mm, mm. when you do it because you're not changing, right? I forgive you, but I don't make myself a doormat to mm. make myself continuously available to you. That target is readily available. No, I love you and I create that safe boundary uh -huh. to protect my emotional well-being, my spiritual well-being, my physical right. well-being. Right from an abusive person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one of the things i teach also in the book from anywhere i speak about forgiveness a first fruit and this is something the lord taught me a first fruit of true forgiveness is willingness to go back in the situation that hurt you in the first place first place wow yeah yeah that's a first fruit of forgiveness but it comes with a caveat mm -hmm. so if the man is a rapist as is, is a molester mm -hmm. and you know he's still a molester that's mm -hmm. not for that scenario Mm -hmm. right if you're physically abusive you're beating your wife that's not for that scenario we still have to use wisdom and right. create that healthy boundary of protection yes wow all right um like i was telling you guys before there's a study series involved in, in with this book um tell us about the study series um rosemary okay. why why a study series why a study no. series yeah who when can i use wrote it? When I wrote the book first in 2009, I got a lot of feedback. Rosemary, you should do a study series on this. You should do a lesson series on this. So uh -huh. I looked at it and I thought uh -huh. enough information is in there. And then I, when I rewrote it in 2021, it's pretty much almost almost twice as thick as the first book. Almost, not quite. Uh -huh. um, so the study series allow allows the readers to... Um, go deeper in the concepts that are introduced in the book, go deeper in the, in the, the scriptures, um, mm -hmm. and as well give scenarios of situations where people are hurt or where people are hurting others and then mm -hmm. talk about where that person is. How can they come out of there? Are right. they hurting? Are they un in unforgiveness? Are they bitter? Um, mm -hmm. What could a person... So you get a chance to discuss it and more deeply. So what I did was... The sessions in the study series line up with chapters in the book. So at mm -hmm. the front of the leader guide and the student workbook, you see the list of study sessions and you see the list of chapters that it lines up with. So you can read the chapters ahead of time, prepare yourself. Right. Um, this, the leader guide comes with answers and the study series comes with blank, blank lines where the, the participants can write out their answers and um, notes page as well. So it allows for a really deeper look at unforgiveness is 18 sessions if it's done one session per sitting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it allows you to 
bounce ideas off of each other, process the information, and literally can apply the information to your situation. It right. allows you to do that in this study series. Wow, wow, wow. Um, we have a bunch of people on our website, and uh, I want to say good evening to, to, to them. I see a couple of questions already. Um, I see people with questions there. Matter of fact, Lady B just posted one that I'm going to ask you. Uh, matter of fact, let me ask you with the, the question now. Um, she's asking, what if you feel and thought you had forgiven someone, yet you have some sort of resentment you can't figure out or let go of? How can I deal with residual sadness and anger that come up even after I truly feel that I have forgiven someone? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a really good question. Um, let me just talk about what forgiveness God's way comes with. Mm. I call it a, a wholesome benefit package. <laughs> when we forgive God's way, we're healed. We don't hurt right. when we, the hurt is gone. The, the wound is closed. It stop oozing. It stop bleeding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> when we forgive, truly the resentment is gone. When we do it God's way. And, and I spend a lot of time in the book talking about forgiveness God's way. Because a lot of us have a concept of forgiveness mm -hmm. that is not God's way. If you go to Matthew 18, you'll see truly what forgiveness god's way look like or even jesus and his relationship with us and our sins right 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 when we forgive we write off that debt entirely as if it does not exist right right, right. and the only reason why there would be resentment is because there's somewhere deep down inside of us we still feel like that person owe us something if it's even an apology mm -hmm. that's why there's resentment Mm -hmm. But when we write off the debt as if nothing ever happened, mm -hmm. those residu residual feelings aren't there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's about going back uh, and re-examining. Mm -hmm. Have I let this really go? When mm -hmm. I look at this person, do I see what they did? Do I remember what they did? If you can look at a person that have hurt you, harmed you, and mm -hmm. you don't see it when you look at the person you know you're forgiven forgiven right 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 it's that right. clean slate wow i'll share with you I, I i i told you earlier that the lord walked me through he gave me showed me what to do one of the things the lord led me to mm -hmm. in my season mm -hmm. was matthew 5 44. Mm. and this is the scripture says love your enemies right do good mm. to them that hate you pray hate for them yeah yeah. that despitefully use you and persecute you pray for them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in doing that that hurt that pain whatever you're feeling is replaced with love for your mm -hmm. offenders that's the antidote to unforgiveness wow wow all right lady b that's that's it. that's your answer that's your answer. And if you want to know more, continue to read the book because she's in it. She's in the book. She's in yeah. the book. Um, Dr. Monica, Dr. Monica, good friend of mine. Hey, Dr. Monica, good good evening to you. Um, but, as a matter of fact, she's broadcasting us live in Atlanta right now on her okay. radio station. Absolutely. Dr. Monica says in Romans 16, um, verse 17 and 18 is how mm -hmm. I deal with repeat offenders. The Apostle Paul called out Alexander as well telling the church to not have anything to do with him. What she said. Um, then she went on to say, how do you deal with a person who you keep giving the clean slate? Yeah, that's a good one. Yet they continue to hurt you every single time. Do you just continue wiping that slate clean and accept let down and, and hurt every time? I know you addressed a little bit of that earlier on. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Your call. So yeah, remember yeah. now that Father gave us wisdom. Yeah. All yeah. right? Yeah. He gave us wisdom. So mm -hmm. if this person is still mm -hmm. a sexual molester, if this yeah. person is still going to steal your money, are you going to leave your wallet out <laughs> wide open for them to get in your wallet? No. No. 
if the person's a molester, are you going to keep sending your 10 year old, 12 year old daughter over there? No. Mm. So this person is still abusive, has right. not changed, and you know they haven't changed. You still love them, but you've got to create that healthy boundary to wow. protect our emotional, physical, and spiritual well being. Mm. Yes. And, and, and we should not feel bad about, I know, I, this is not judging now, you know, the per, you've been there, you right. know, the person is this way. And if I interact with them at this level, this is what's going to happen. So you create a healthy boundary and every brick should be sealed by love. Mm. It's not hate. It's not malice. Mm -hmm. It's not pride. <laughs> I'm healthily separating myself because I am going to be victimized if yeah. I don't do that. It would be lack of wisdom. Right, right, right. To allow yourself to keep going through that. Yeah. Right. All right. Lady B's agreeing with you. She said, you said it. Boundaries. Boundaries. You got to set boundaries. Amen. All right. Um, Gloria Query said, I am listening to you, my sister, and I am trying to understand what you're saying because I am trying to do what you are talking about. But it happens to me over and over again. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, send your questions in. Send your questions in. She's right here. She's right here, and she will answer what she can right now. Um, we, 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 I, I still have a few more questions for her, um, and so we'll continue to set boundaries. All right, people are agreeing with you. Set boundaries. I think, I think that's a new thing now that they've learned tonight. They're, they're going to be setting boundaries now. Healthy uh, boundaries. He healthy there we go. Boundaries. Healthy, healthy boundaries. Set not boundaries. malicious. Not, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm done with you. You don't yeah. exist. Not those kind of boundaries. Right, right, right. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard those, you? right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yep, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What What do you, as a writer, want readers to get from the book itself, or or, or the study series, for that matter? So what much, so what much. I love the people that I write to, and I and because of, because of place from which I wrote this book, right? I I really want this book to change lives more mm. than anything else. I want the book to get in the hands of people who are stuck. I want the, the book to get in the hands of people who think it's impossible to forgive or it's too hard oh, to right, forgive. Right, right, I want right. them to understand that God's grace is enough. Mm -hmm. It's a mandate. A mandate means it's a command. It's an order. And it's coming from the highest authority. So if we break that right. command, we right. will be punished. When you get an order from the police or the court right. and you break right. it, you get punished. From our parents, right. we get punished. Right. So I want the readers to understand that I can do this by the grace of God that is in me. I am breaking out of this prison that I've built for myself. Because mm. unforgiveness is a prison that is built by the offended. And it's the offended that's behind bars, not the offender. I'm coming mm -hmm. out of this prison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want the readers to know that life is beyond the bars of unforgiveness. And I can do it. I can set myself free by the grace of God. I can be made whole. Mm. Nothing else. I want them to understand that the grace of God is enough. You got to get the book, y'all. I got two copies that I want to give away tonight. Two copies that I'm going to... I don't even know how I'm going to give them away. But two copies I, I, that, that they're autographed by her. Her handwriting in there. I didn't touch it. No, nothing. See? If, if you can. Yes, she wrote you a nice little message. And I have two of them that I have to give away um, to you guys. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Dr. Monica is saying congratulations on, on your book. Dr. Downer, you are indeed a blessing. I loved hearing you at Beulah Bronx. All right? all right. She was a Beulah, Beulah Heights. All right? Beulah Bronx, you're a powerful teacher. So no doubt your book will stir us change in the hearts of the readers. Yes, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. All right, let me let me ask you this question now, uh, because uh, I was reading through your bio and and I saw it there, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta ask her this. What does Philippians one verse six means to you? Oh my gosh, <laughs> being confident of this very thing that he which uh -huh. has, that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. I'll tell you, I got that scripture from the Lord at 15 years old. Wow. And I won't tell you how old I am now. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't have to. You don't. I was sitting on the side of my bed in Toronto, Canada. Yeah. And a good friend of mine, Velma, had gotten pregnant. Mm. We were teenagers. 
Mm -hmm. And my, it blew my mind. I couldn't understand how we, we could be in church, bawling every weekend, mm -hmm. worshiping, clapping, making noise, jumping, you know, back mm -hmm. in those days. Where mm -hmm. did you find time to get pregnant? <laughs> I was confused. Wow. wow. And I became afraid that that would happen to me. Oh, okay, okay. It okay. sounds silly, but I was I was an early teenager. Right, right, right. Sitting at the side of my bed, and I'm like, Lord, I don't want to, I don't want to backslide, I don't want to. I was worried, and the Lord gave me this scripture: "Be confident, my girl. Mm. I started that good work in you, and I will perform mm. it until the day of Jesus Christ." And that thing got in my system. That is <laughs> what? That is the fuel in my engine. <laughs> It means that's my epitaph. They got to put that on my tombstone. Or I'm wow. going to get up, I'm going to erase what they put, <laughs> and I'm going to put it there myself. Y'all heard it? Y'all heard it? Okay, I'll tell them. I'll yes. tell them. Man. I'll, that I'll verse? Them. Yes. Tell them. I'll tell them. I remember this verse because back then when we were doing our little Bible challenges and stuff like that um, with, with, with Bridges, that was one of the verses that we had to Always. study. Always, <laughs> always. So I remember it. I'm like, she had the nerve to put this in her bio too because, because she, you drilled us with this verse. Always. When we had years. convention and they had popcorn yes. testimony, that's right. That's a Those popcorn. Getting up with that verse. <laughs> All right. Um, also in your bio, you stated that Moses is your favorite character. Why? Why is that? I love Moses. One, um, first of all, for, for many reasons, but top reason he had a deeply intimate relationship mm, with the lord yes, yes 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 his relationship with the lord was so close that he, they talk almost face to face nobody see god and live but let's say face to face he was so close with the lord that when yahweh got mad at the children of israel and he was going to wipe them off the face of the earth moses had that kind of leverage with him that he could talk him out of it mm. Now, when we get mad, mm -hmm. not everybody can talk us out of it. No, 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 no. Let me go. That's right. Go. It requires somebody close to you. Yeah, yeah. All right, Brami, calm down, man. Brami, yeah. Brami. Yeah. Somebody yeah. who know you, close True. to you, can get to your mm -hmm. attention. Yeah. A stranger yeah. come, they're going to get the wrath of your anger. Yeah. That's well, how close Moses was to Yahweh. Mm. That he could talk him out of mm -hmm. a rash action. Moses was an excellent leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the children of Israel drove him nuts and he got strict penalty <laughs> for it. But he was an excellent leader and he had a close relationship with the Lord, which is my desire. Wow. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have here tonight Rosemary, Rosemary Downer. Dr. Rosemary. Dr. Rosemary Downer. Okay, let's get it right, Dougie. <laughs> Dr. Rosemary Downer, uh, my good friend, man. And uh, I, I love this girl. I love her for what she stands for. You know what I mean? What she stands for. I, I remember when we were, when, you know, young, young people. Say and, too much. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When, 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 when Dr. Donna come around, Dr. Donna come, Dr. Donna come, you know? <laughs> you see the young people straighten up guys, Dr. Donna coming around the corner. Because <laughs> you don't want Dr. Donna to pinch you, okay? <laughs> you don't want that to pinch you, so they straighten up real quick when they see you coming around the corner. They say, Dr. Donna come, Dr. Donna come, Dr. Donna come. Yeah, those were some good, like, days. Good, yeah. good days. Good, good days, brother. Good, good days. What is next for you, um, Rosemary? Because you have lived your life. You have lived a, a, a beautiful life that I've watched. Um, what's next for you? Where, where, where do you go from here? Yeah. I believe the Lord is calling me to writing at the moment. Um, yes, I still do speaking engagements, but um, my goal is to write. I'm putting out the next book before the end of the year. It's actually at, at the editor right now. Um, mm. So, yes, uh, my goal is to keep writing. That's my main thing right now. Wow, 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 wow. And you're doing a great job. You're doing a very, very great job of it. Um, Gospel Lifers, I told you guys, I put it out there. We're going to start our own little book club. And um, we're going to read this book together. And um, we're all going to get healed. We're Amen. All gonna Amen. Get healed. I believe that. I believe yes, that. So I agree with that word. Yeah, Amen. some of us are, have hang-ups and some of us are holding out and um, the strong, strong hang-ups too. And um, we, we, we need to get healed. We yeah. need to get healed. We need to get healed. The book is called The High Call of Forgiveness. It's a mandate. All right. Um, 
and and she also have the study series so we, we want to look into getting the study series and um so we can you know get all the details and and the the you know the the deep stuff get the deep stuff out and um enjoy enjoy this book it's available i just put it up on the screen it's available on um, amazon and barnes and noble and also on our website at www.booksbyrosemarie.com and you want to go to that website beautiful website by the way looking clean what <laughs> clean you get all the information on her there man everything is there about her everything is there about her book um she's very transparent and 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 because she lives such a a, a, a decent clean life she's transparent she'll tell she talk to you that's what i always loved about her she will talk to you. She'll reason with you. She'll reason it down to your level, too. You know what I mean? She'll not try to talk over your head and, 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 and <laughs> show how educated she is. She's a professor, by the way, okay, by profession. That's what she used to do, okay? But, you know, she's not talking over your head. She's talking directly to you and let you understand where you are, what needs to be done, how we can do it together, and she'll help you get through it. You know, this is that she's going to come on our book club and read with us and, and you know, explain to us what we're reading. Yeah. And yeah. so she was willing to do so. So when you have someone willing to go that extra mile for some for somebody else, strangers, a matter of fact, mm -hmm. she, she don't know none of you. She only know me. And she probably she probably remember Monica. I probably remember Monica. I don't even know if she remember Monica. But uh, <laughs> she's willing to come out and do this with us. We we, we you know I, I want to take that opportunity and, and get it done, man. And um, it was great great talking to you tonight Rose absolutely Rose. pleasure great. and a delight uh, my goodness yeah. you got me nervous when i saw your name show up in my email you got me nervous what? Man. Like, no like, well, yeah, I, I talk to singers you know i talk to singers all day every day okay. you know okay. musicians every day all day and i get uh, you know an email from dr donor i'm like what is dr donor saying, saying to me now I, and thing and you know it's it's such a privilege and pleasure to talk to you it is. Especially on this topic, forgiveness mm -hmm. it's always relevant. Every mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Day. always relevant. Yes. Be yeah, because forgiveness yes. is a daily exercise. Yes, yes. It yes. is really a daily exercise. Yes. If, if you if you can speak it out, especially speaking it out, mm -hmm. that you know what, I forgive me, I forgive you. I, I'm, I, you know, you find that it will be easier for you because that's what I have to do. I have to tell myself for me to be free from this and trust me I've gotten some serious hurt mm -hmm. especially from mm -hmm. the church because mm -hmm. I've always been in the church all my mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I, I don't know I don't know anything I tell people mm -hmm. the only dance I go is when I hear the dance from the veranda Amen. Amen. I was on the Amen. veranda hearing the dance over there I never go Amen. to an altar I don't Come know on. what it is Come on. So, so my hurt came from the church. Yes, I was not perfect. I am not perfect to this day. But church didn't handle the situation right. Yes, brother. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. And I could have done like others. Yes. And decide yes. that I'm taking my talent elsewhere. You know what I mean? Come I, on. I, Come I, I know on. God, Come on. I know what God gave me. I Come know on. what gift he gave me. Come I could on. have done like so many others of my, all of my, my friends. God. And, you know, I, I don't even know where some of them are today because they walked away. You know what I mean? But I, I stood still. I stood still to my beating. Yeah. <laughs> to my beating and my cuss out and, <laughs> and all the other stuff that came with it. And I, I'm still here today. I'm still here today. But I'm wiser for it. I'm Amen. Wiser for Amen. It stronger, better. I'm Come stronger on. Stronger, better. You know, I'm stronger, better Amen. for it. So thank you again, Dr. Downer. We will continue this dialogue for sure, sure, sure. No doubt about it. We will continue this dialogue again. And uh, I enjoy your company tonight. Thank Absolutely you so beautiful. much. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege. You and are so welcome. Thank you for listening, all the audience. Yes. yes. Let me ask you, are you on social media? Can they find you anywhere on social media? I am, yes. Uh, Facebook Books by Rosemary. Um, what else? Instagram. Instagram TikTok. Books by Rosemary as well. All yeah. Right. Twitter Books Rosemary. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Books by so go follow her. Yeah. Um, you, you get interesting word and, and interesting things to, to, to see and, and stuff like that. Absolutely. Thank you once again, my friend. Blessings. God bless you. Bless up. Bless up every time. All bless right. Yes. We'll talk soon. God bless. Blessings. All right. This is this is a special that we're doing today tonight with my good friend Rosemary Downer. Please go and support her. Get the book. Buy the book. Tomorrow morning, I'll give away two books to you guys i'll give away two books tomorrow um during the program all right you can go on our website at 
booksbyrosemarie.com or you can go to Barnes & Noble or Amazon and get the book. Let's read together. How about that? Let's read together, man. I, I, I think I like that idea. Let's read this book together. And let's 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 get healed. Let's get healed. I never knew that your love would change my life. I am a new creature. All things are passed away, passed away, gone away. Can I tell you about the one? Save my soul, yeah. I can't keep still, my brother. I'm finally on the right road. My mama used to say he would walk with me, but right now he not even talk with me. I've got a testimony how he rescued me. I wanna tell you, say I never knew. That being forgiven would be so right. I never knew. I want to thank those who are joining us. Thank you so, so very much. JB4. I am a Bless up yourself. Faye Guy. Woman of God, Hillary Lamb. Anybody forgiven over Karen Walker. Anybody forgiven over there? Anybody forgiven over there? All our listeners on Mixcloud. God of Abraham. And our listeners over here on the website, God bless you. Thank you so, so very much. I'm not going to be here much longer because it's a special that we're doing tonight. But I want to thank you so, so very much for joining me tonight. My good friend, Dr. Monica. Bless up yourself. This one is called Forgiven by Kevin Downswell. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Here we go. Say, I'm free. Let me take the opportunity also to thank all our Minister Connecting partners. We want to thank our friends over there in the UK, Moods Radio in UK. Thank you so very much. The Voice of FM, 97.7 Cape and Island. Gospel Showcase Radio NIC in New York. Perpetual Prince 101. God bless you. Gospel Vibes Radio FM in Connecticut. Dr. Delroy Lingo. RVR 24-7 in Olaba, Jamaica. ATL Praise House. Brother Lou. Bless up yourself. Cameron Gospel Radio FM. Dr. Monica D. Unity Gospel Radio in South Florida. God bless you. Praise Radio 592 in Brooklyn, New York. Live Mending Radio in Cape Town, Africa. And also, brothers and sisters over there, Born Winners Network, www.bornwinnersnetwork.com. Pastor Ricardo Millwood. God bless you, man. Hey. And my brother and my friend, listen, Brother listen. Devon Ministries. My past is gone. In the Brooklyn, New York. Those are listening on Alexa, Google Nest, TuneIn Radio, yeah. Online Radio Box, Radio Garden, when me Stream Up, Stream Meta, Zeno Radio. Bless up yourself. Bless up yourself every time. And say, say, oh. say, oh. Be blessed and stay blessed. I and y'all know I don't go without saying the benediction, man. So let me tell you right now that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Love you. Up yourself. One love, everybody. GL365 continues with our worship. Somebody say free. Somebody shout free. Somebody say I'm free. Somebody shout I'm free. Good night, everybody. So keep it locked right here on GL365 Radio. I want to free people. Gospel Live 365 Radio. Empowering, inspiring, entertaining. Gospel Live 365 Radio. Your station pointing souls to 